Cisco AnyConnect, Remote Access VPN, Duo, SAM L, Active Directory. We're going to use ICE for authorization and group policy push. So we've built out everything in this diagram except the ICE component in the previous video. And that is great if you want to use uh, or just authenticate like we do, but you may want to use your identity. Um, and so we do need that in order to provide the um, enforcement of the group policy to the end user. So the first thing we need to do is go into the dual access gateway, go to authentication source and make sure that we have user principal name assigned to the search attributes. So we'll go ahead and hit save here once we've done that. And then we're gonna to jump to Identity Services Engine. Now this has already been pre-built. I've got a video that shows this, but it's pretty basic. You have an, a, the ASA that's assigned to the VPN group that we're gonna use as a condition. And then we have this authentication policy that has um, all, all, uh, that device again, part of the VPN group using Active Directory. The default is deny. And then we've got this authorization policy that has two policies, one for HR and one for sales. We're gonna focus on the sales one that's using the Active Directory group in order to determine the group policy that's going to be applied. So we've got this authorization profile assigned to it called Sales VPN Auth Z. The defaults deny access. And we're gonna quickly look at that policy in results, so go ahead and authorization, authorization profile. And we can see right here that we have a downloadable ACL applied to it. We'll check that out in a second. And this ASA VPN attribute. Now this is key, that sales-gp uh, group policy, that naming convention has to be used in the ASA when you're building out your group, group policy or whatever naming convention, it's gotta be identical. Here, that downloadable ACL is deny IP any any, or sorry, deny IP 1.1.1, right, uh, a host, and then uh, permit IP any. In our duo um, administration portal, we can see a sales one user, email is sales one at cisco.local, and we'll go ahead, and this is key, we gotta make sure that we come in here, and all we're gonna do is add from the previous video is this server group, right? And this is gonna to point to Identity Services Engine and you gotta make sure you do that use authorization only mode, right? Make sure you click that and then go ahead and add your ICE nodes here and hit apply. And this is just the NAD that your network access device that you would add to Identity Services Engine. And then finally make sure this user must exist in, in the directory, right? So go ahead and hit apply. We'll check out that group policy for sales. You can see that naming structure is identical to what we put in Identity Services Engine. And we got this banner that says this is the sales group. And why you might ha want different group policies could be as simple as certain settings you wanna change uh, for specific use cases, right? As well as different controls. But also uh, you may wanna push down a specific client module. So for the, for the most case, most part, you probably would have the same across all users, but if you wanted to choose some variances between modules, you can do that. We'll apply this out and we'll quickly do our test. So go ahead and log in. And this time we're logging in using a UPN or the uh, email address, more the email address. So sales1 at cisco.local, just in case they are different. Go ahead and send a push. So we've already passed the first portion of authentication. So the primary authentication was successful. And now we're gonna go ahead and pass the second. And we can see this is the sales group. So that's that banner that we pushed down. So we know we got the right group policy, but let's just check. So let's go into, um, the ASA and show VPN session DB any connect and you can see sales one at cisco.local and you can also see the group policy. That's the group policy we expect. Let's just double check in ICE and we can see there's that user identity and there's the ACL that we also wanted to push. So we got the right group policy but we also got the right ACL. 
and you can see there's that deny host 1.1.1 and then permit IP any any. So pretty cool. We've got a, you know, probably a total if we talk about both videos, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And we've got Duo, Active Directory, SAML, Identity Services Engine pushing out a group policy, fully built, fully tested and validated. Pretty cool.